There are two different applications for programming on the Microsoft stack, Visual Studio Code and Visual Studio for Mac. The features offered in both are quite similar, but Visual Studio Code is an editor while Visual Studio is an integrated development environment. Visual Studio Code is cross-platform and fast, while Visual Studio is only available for Windows and a version for Mac. For completeness, we're going to show you how to install Visual Studio Code, but we will be using Visual Studio to guide you in your development journey. But we wanted to point this out as an available option if you choose to go this route. Let's install Visual Studio Code on Mac. Under Visual Studio Code, select Mac OS Package. Once the download is complete, open the file. This will unzip the package and open the folder where Visual Studio Code was unzipped. Go ahead, open the file to begin the installation process. If you're prompted with a security dialog, that's because you have the most recent Mac OS like we do. So to get around this, open System Preferences and under the General section, then under Allow Apps Downloaded From, select App Store and identify it developers. Then go back to the security dialog and click the open button. You now have installed Visual Studio Code on your Mac OS. Congratulations! Next, select extensions. Notice that we don't have C Sharp as an extension. You can browse or search for the C Sharp extension or you might find it under the popular extensions. Select the C-Sharp extension and finally select Install. Once the installation of the extension is complete, select Extension again, then Show Installed Extensions. Now we can verify that the extension was installed. Now copy the Visual Studio code to your applications. Open your download folder and your applications and copy Visual Studio Code to your applications. We are also going to dock Visual Studio Code for quicker access. Another note to mention, if you run into errors during the installation process, you should check the minimum requirements of the software and make sure that you meet that requirement. We'll link the Visual Studio minimum requirements page in the comments section of this video. Other places that you can visit if you have any questions or need more help, comment below in this video and we'll respond. Post or browse your questions on community forums such as Stack Overflow. And if you don't find any of the above helpful, you can always use Google search.